Imagine if your guardian, your protector, your wali is Allah. When people know people in high places, you know, they feel fairly confident that if they were to get into a pinch, that they'll be okay. But what about if our protector, our wali, our guardian protector was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself, the king of kings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, Allahu waliyu alladheena amanu yukhrijuhum min al-dhulumati ila nur that he is the protector, the wali, the guardian of those who believe, those who respond to his call, those who love him and devote themselves to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is their wali and he brings them out from the darkness into the light. If you notice that the word dhulumat, darkness comes in the plural form because the path of misguidance are many. But nur comes in the singular form because there's only one truth, there's only one light. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He brings the believers, he, he protects them and brings them to the truth and keeps them firm upon that. Whereas He says, وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَوْلِيَاؤُهُمُ الطَّاغُوتُ يُخْرِجُونَهُم مِّنَ النُّورِ إِلَى الظُّلُمَاتِ That as for the people who reject faith, the ones who disbelieve, their allies are shaitan and his army. The path of misguidance, they're calling them, removing them from the light. They want to block the path of the light. At the same time, those who are upon the light, they want to bring them out into the darkness. And the end result for those people are that those are the individuals who are the companions of the fire and in it they will be forever. Now how sad of an ending would it be that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that He is the protector, He is the guardian, He's calling us to the light, that which will bring happiness and joy in our life and especially in the Akhirah, that people submit to shaitan and his army, and then the end result be the fire of hell. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us from the bad ending.